Hello guys, welcome once again. From this video tutorial, we will see some important functions that we can use with the string. So string is a collection of the characters and it is also called as a character array. And C programming provides a large collection of the functions and with the help of that functions, we can perform different operations on our string. So let's see how to use this. So first in this video, we will see our first function called as a strcat. So here strcat means string concatenation and to use this function we have to use strcat and in the brackets we have to pass our source string and a target string and as a result this target string will get appended at the end of this source string so let's see how to use this so first of all we need two strings so i'm just declaring these and initializing this string so my first string is source and here we have to mention these two brackets and I am giving a string like programming and here I am again using my second target string so just use char give your name to string like this and here we have to mention the actual string so my second string will be language like this so here my source string is programming and my target string is language so let's see how to use this strcat function and what is the output of this function so here as a syntax we have to use strcat like this and inside this function we have to pass our source string and target string so just use a source give a comma to separate the source and target string and after that give your target string like this so as a result these target string will get appended at the end of the source string now let's see what is the output of this strcat but first of all the important thing is that this strcat function is defined in the other file so we need to include that header file so this strcat function is defined in the file called as a string dot h so first of all include that file string dot h like this so here First of all, before calling this function, we will print our original strings. So just use printf and give a message inside these. So I am giving source string is percent %s. Here we have to use percent %s because we are going to print the string. And here give a reference of source like this. Now here I am printing my target string target. Now let's see first of all what is the output of this code before calling the strcat function. So just build and run the code and here as you can see the output is source string is programming and target string is language now we will use our function so here just use strcat and inside that provide your strings so i am giving source comma target and we have to print the result of this so just use printf and the result is percent s here we have to again use percent s because resulting output will also be string so here we have to use percent s and after that we have to use a source so here we have to give a reference of source because here result will get stored in the source so that's why we have to give reference of the source and let's again build and run the code to see the output and here as you can see the result is 
programming language so here after use of the strcat function the language is get appended at the end of this programming that means the target string is get appended at the end of the source string now suppose here if you want to give a space between this programming and the language then just give a space here that means while declaring a target string so just give space here but remember that this space also be treated as a character that means it has some value so let's again build around the code to see the output and here as you can see the result is programming space language like this now here with the help of the strcat function we are append appending the whole target string at the end of the source string now suppose if you want to append some of the characters of the target string to the source string then we have to use a variation of this strcat function so here the another function is str here we have to use n and again cat so remember that if you want to append some characters from the target string to the source string then we have to use the function str n cat and inside that we have to pass again a source comma target and here again we have to specify the number of characters that we want to append so here i am giving five like this and just again print the source because here again result is getting stored in the source so i am just commenting this like this to see the proper output so let's build and run the code to see the output and here as you can see the output is the result is programming lang that means the result is programming language here the five characters so these l a n g these are the four characters and this space is a fifth character that we are going to append at the end of this programming string so here in this way we can use the strcat and strncat function so in this video we learn that how to use these two functions and in the next video we will see the next part